Friday. I hope everybody is having a great week. Um, this is going to be a feature Friday and I am going to do a whip Wednesday, but it's Friday. Um, more like, and it's not really necessarily even a work in progress anymore. Um, it's just one of my summer garlands. I am going to go through how I make my lemon garland. So let's get to it. All right, first up is the supply lineup. I got my light yellow, my dark yellow, white yarn, and my favorite crochet hook, a yarn needle, and some scissors. Um, this is all that I need. I don't need polyfill for this one. Um, so let's jump into it. First off, you start with your white, and you're gonna do a magic circle. Seriously, these things are my favorite. Anything I can do in the round is the best. So. <laughs> then you're gonna switch over to your light. And then you're just going to increase the circle um, with your light yellow. And it's really very minimal with the dark yellow, but you'll see how this goes. So first up, making the um, interior circle. All right, you keep going, increasing till you end up with 40 stitches around. Next, you are going to grab your white from the back and just, you should probably grab the right piece, um, and bring it up from the back. And now you are just going to do slip stitching into each of the front loops. So when you look at it, you have this is your front loop and this is your back loop. So you're only doing the um, slip stitch into this front loop here and then you're going to go and do that all the way around to create um, it's actually going to be the it'll look like the rind of the lemon so go ahead and do that for 40 stitches Alright, once you have the white done, you're actually going to pick up your darker yellow yarn and now you're going to work into the back loop of that original light yellow that you had. And again, it's just going to be slip stitch through. Should mention it is actually the back loop of the white. All right. So once you go around, you'll go around and make a nice border with the, the dark yellow, and you're going to end up with two pieces, um, two circles that you're actually going to um, not even sew together. I actually crochet them together so you get a nicer rind going around. 
Um, but first, before you do that, you're going to want to take and do your sectioning off. So before you tie everything off, you're going to want to leave a long white tail that you'll use to go through the center. I don't know why I keep saying you. Maybe you are going to make these, but this is what I do anyway. So I just sew through and I make the sections. And then I leave a nice long tail in the dark yellow to um, crochet together. So I actually have one started here. This part can be a little finicky for me. This is, this is usually, um, the finishing touches are usually what takes me the longest because once you get going and you're just doing a circle like this, you can just cruise through it. But when it actually comes to putting them together, that's where it takes the longest. Um, so I actually go through the back loops of either side of the lemon and I use, I switch to a smaller hook just because it's easier to go through and catch. Um, so I'm going to go through and grab onto my tail here, pull through and just, and basically I'm just going to be doing single crochet around. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I will show you what the finished product is. Alright, here it is, the finished lemon, all crocheted together. Um, you can see that by putting the two, the two together, you, it adds a little thickness to it, so you, you don't want a flimsy garland. Um, and look, it joined the rest of its friends. Here is a completed garland. Gosh, these are some of my favorites. I love decorating with lemons, so there you have it. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.